today for dorkjocks.com. Today we're going to fix some lock cylinders, do a little replacement on them for Russ's truck here. So let's get to work. First thing we're going to want to do here is we've got a couple screws right down here in the handle. It's a pretty simple little trick project we're going to do, but uh, I'm going to just show you each one. we got another screw right up in here, and uh, let's take these out. Little uh, trim tool here. It's got these little, uh, oh, look like a little white Christmas tree, but they're behind here. So what you want to kind of do is peek in behind it a little bit. And if you could see, right here, right on that edge, you can kind of see that little the little guy in there, it's a little white tree, and then you just like that, and you kind of pull them away. You want to do this when it's warm, too. If you're doing this when it's cold, like in the winter, you'll easily break the plastic of your door. So it could be a door panel breaking tool. So you just kind of work your way around. All right. On this style, there's a few extra clips right here on the top, and we have to got, got those pops, and then you just carefully. Pull your door panel off, slide your handle out, Boop. and then as you get it down, and he's got a little bonus speaker back here we're going to unplug, and this one has a couple clips on the back of the door panel so we can actually push, push these in, there's one. Two. Then you should be able to turn it kind of sideways and push it back out through there. Boop. And then you can set your door panel out of the way while you have access to your lock cylinder on the back side. To change these lock cylinders, you got to take the uh, door handle off on the outside and go through the door here. You got to roll your window up too so you can get to the little nuts that hold the handle on. And then there's a panel you can get through it here. Then also this little hole here has a little little black clip on it that I threw on the ground. And you go through there, it gives you a straight shot onto that nut. Three nuts that hold it on, and then there's little clips. I'll show you those little clips once we get the handle out here. So there's these little, they're little side clips. I'll be able to show you better once we get it out and I'll explain it. But if you look right through here, I'll put the end of the screwdriver down there for you. It's a little dark. Let me grab a and dump some, put some light on the subject again. Helps a little bit there. There's a red clip right there. You kind of push it off and it'll swing around and then the little metal bar will come right out. I recommend taking the one down lower here towards the uh, door catch. Take that off. It'll make your life easier than trying to pop it off way up inside the door and we'll get the handle out. So we're almost out. So now our handle's loose here and getting it out of the door is a little tricky. You kind of got to be real careful. You don't want to scratch your paint all up. But sometimes you got to lift your handle up. Kind of just wiggle it around carefully, get it a little maneuver. All right, we got it. There we go. Let's go take this in the shop here and put a new lock cylinder in it. Follow me. This is that clip that I was talking about in the vehicle. Same one on each side here. They're, they come off fairly easily, but you want to be careful because the plastic does get brittle. And just kind of push those over like so, and they'll slide right out. So that's what I was talking about down on the door. This one's up high, so it's real hard to get to because it hangs down like that, so it makes it easier to get down to this guy. So, to get your lock out, it's got a little clip right here. Just pull, pull that out. It comes right out. And then your lock just lifts right out. We got a new one right here. They're keyed differently, obviously. But then uh, you can tell where they go in, it's kind of foolproof, it won't let you put them in backwards or upside down or anything like that. And put your little keyway back in there. Should usually just pop right back up. There we go. Now we're ready to go back in. Let's go put it back in. Alright, we're going back in. Same thing as before, sometimes they go right in, other times it's a little tricky. It helps though to pull your handle down, down, because it'll Give you a little bit more room. I'm just gonna get that up in there. Get everybody behind where you need to be. Got it in! So now we're just putting the bolts back on the back side of the handle here. Just nice and snug. No, don't need to be over. Don't need a gangster them on there. They're gonna 
They're gonna stay there pretty well. Pretty well. We're gonna throw the little clip back on, put back the door handle. Our upper bolts are tight. This is just to support the bottom of the handle when people give it a pull. To get the one to go back in the lock, it's a little tricky. You might need to pull your lock cylinder up and down to get it to be able to go right back into the hole here. Sometimes even an extra hand helps out, but uh, we almost got it. We're going to replace a few of the uh, pops on the back of the door here. And oh, look at this. Here's a couple prime examples of why you don't want to take your uh, door off when it's cold out. Russ, did you do that? Yep, I did. I'm ashamed. <laughs> these guys just slide down into the backs of these. Replace very easily. Now we're ready to put the door panel back on. Like so. And just kind of press down on it. Bingo. Or Yahtzee. <laughs> Speaker back in for you. <laughs> then feed the door handle through your little hole. Kind of reach in there. Thread it through. Like so, get your lock. And then you're just going to have to kind of eyeball these on the back side. Get all these little clip. Oh, there we go. Dropping them out of the door. Just going to eyeball these little guys right into the holes here. Put them back in the, I'm sorry, my head's in the way. There we go. Put that one up in there. Get them all, the little tips started in the holes. And then you just push the door panel right back on. As you notice, we had to pull the window up to be able to get that door handle out. We're gonna roll it back down just to give us a bird's eye view to be able to look down here to get these panel pops right back into their little holes. I recommend a rubber mallet for this. It's not good to use your hands as a hammer. Got a couple screws here, put them back. And it, you know what? This is pretty easy. Give me the camera, you're gonna put your own screws back in. All right, I'll give it a go. Take a screwdriver like so. And I, I'm not even ASC certified. You know that? Not ASC certified. <laughs> but you're doing a good job. Good. Thanks, man. Thanks. There, look, it's going. It's threading in. Uh, let's see if our job is complete. Make sure that it opens because it's really a bummer on you. Don't get that locked and or don't get the uh, rod put back on because then you can't open it. There we go. It happened to work. Now, hey. putting in a new door lock like that you're gonna to have to get another key. So this one's your door key now, and this is ignition key. You can have this keyed to your tumbler, I'd imagine, in the steering column. I've never had that done. So now this truck just happened to have two keys, door key, ignition key. Hey, don't forget, check out dorkjocks.com for a couple more of my videos and other fun stuff and sports information. Footage. Oh man, we got a spider. This is how we kill a spider.